Hi. Hi, thanks, Karen, for the introduction. Yep, I'm good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to today's info session. I'm Charla, a partner of Project Ventures. And, and you know, this really brings me back memories because a few years ago, I was sitting, I was in a similar shoes, sitting in a similar session. And back then, it was a physical setting. So uh, there was no COVID at the point in time, a lot less attendees, but an equally exciting opportunity. And it was through the info session that I learned a lot more about Project Ventures. And I eventually decided to join Project Ventures because of a very simple statistic. You know, 90% of startups fail, right? But what about the last 10% that actually succeeds? I didn't think it was mere luck or coincidence and in search for the answer to some of these questions as to what separates founders who made it and those that don't. I found myself joining Prodigy Ventures. And today I'm a lot closer to the answers to many of the questions I had. So hopefully Prodigy Ventures will be a good fit for you as well. So the objective of today's presentation is, you know, really for me to share more about what Prodigy Ventures represents, some of the plans we have for the upcoming year ahead for new members, for new members who are joining us this year and why you should apply to be part of Prodigy Ventures. If you have any questions at any point in time, uh, just to reiterate, please feel free to use the question hole and we'll reserve the answering of these questions at the end of the info session. So without further ado, let me start with the actual introduction. Um, next slide, please. Thanks. So Prodigy Ventures is Southeast Asia's first and Singapore's only student venture capital firm. For those who are unfamiliar with venture capital, it's, um, to put it simply, it's the business of giving promising startups capital in the form of money so that they can grow to become large disruptive companies. So, you know, many of the biggest names that we hear of today are companies that has fundamentally changed how we live our lives today. Companies along the likes of Google, Facebook, TikTok, Grab, and even the platform that we are here today on Zoom. So these are all giant, gigantic companies that started off as really small companies and they only became who they are today because there were people who believed in their potential to change the world. And these people invested in them right from the very start. And that, and that is what venture capital is about. It is about investing in ideas that change the world. At Prodigy Ventures, we invest real capital into real companies we think will shape the world of tomorrow. We help to groom the next generation of venture capital and entrepreneurial talent in the process. And our members get hands-on experience to not just identifying ideas with the potential for exponential growth, but also betting on these ideas by investing firsthand. I'm proud to say that this is a very rare opportunity that you'll hardly find elsewhere. Next slide. For us, we look specifically at outstanding companies founded by students or recent graduates. So um, we have a slight preference for companies addressing the problems related to uh, youth and the millennials because this is just so much closer to what we're familiar with. And we also invest in companies who are born out of promising research done in the universities and we use at using university research to be applied to solve real world problems. And next slide, in terms of opportunities uh, beyond just you know, sourcing and investing in companies, many of our members also get opportunities to speak with industry professionals within the startup and venture capital scene. Some of our members go on to become judges at startup related competitions such as Slingshot as well as the Apex Venture Capital Case Competition among many others. So in this picture uh, on the third left hand corner, this picture so show some of the events that we have as part of Project Ventures. Uh, on the top left-hand corner, we have a photo showing um, Paul, who is the managing partner of Rhythmical Partners, giving us a masterclass. And on the top right-hand corner, I was very fortunate to you know, be able to represent Project Ventures as a judge at one of the SMU's entrepreneurship practicum. So yeah, the other two photos, uh, you see Jared and associate of Project Ventures at one of the the largest entrepreneurship events in, in Singapore uh, at the VC office hours where we invited top tier VCs to come down for a session to speak with startups. Yeah, so these are just some of the opportunities that you get if you decide to join Project Ventures. And um, in terms of, you know, in terms of the companies that we have actually invested in, so on the left, you can see some of our current portfolio companies, they exhibit a wide range of uh, sectors. We are pretty much sector agnostic, and in particular, some of the more recent investments are doing very well. Um, like Intellect, for example, on the right, uh, it, is, it has been featured in the news. It has garnered full-on investments and uh, has had a lot of traction, reaching 1 million users. Um, next slide. And beyond just this, our members have also gone on to 
secure not just internships but also full-time placements in um, in many successful startups, VCs as well as accelerators. Some have went on to build up, some have even went on to build their own startups. And beyond just the logos, beyond the logos that you see here, uh, our members have also received offers to join companies of other nature. So these ranges from consulting to investment banking, as well as working at top tier tech firms like Facebook and Apple as software engineers, as well as product managers. Let's move on to the next section where I'll share you know, more about the plans for the year ahead and what you can expect to see should you apply to join Project J Ventures. On this slide, we have the three funders of Project J Ventures, myself, uh, Nicholas, as well as Benedict. And together, um, we have you know, a vision to... Uh, next slide. Okay, see next slide. <laughs> yeah, and together we have a vision to build a tribe of curiosity-driven critical thinkers that can strive in the ever-changing innovation scene while solidifying our status as a catalyst in every student entrepreneur's journey. So there are really two parts of to this vision. Uh, <laughs> previous slide, please. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, so there's really two parts to this vision. Uh, internally, we want to not just be an organization by association, but instead an organization by relationships. So PV is a place where like-minded individuals you know, passionate about startups, passionate about investments, about venture capital, engage in discussions and intellectual discourse and find out more about the exciting opportunities of today as well as those of tomorrow. And externally, we strive to be a key partner and enabler for student founders, providing help throughout their entrepreneurship journey. So from ideation to implementation and beyond. So this vision, I think it really sums up what he wants to become. In, in terms of both uh, internal facing as well as external facing. Uh, next slide. And for uh, this particular slide, it contains the key information for our recruitment process. So this is especially important for those of you who are keen to apply to Project Ventures. Some of the key dates that you have to take note are um, that the deadline for applications closes on the 24th of July. We release um, the, the selected candidates, that we will inform selected candidates shortly after and invite them to a uh, boot camp that will be held the following weekend on the 31st of July to the 1st of August. So there's two main parts of the boot camp, which would be the startup pitch section, as well as a panel interview session. And outstanding candidates from the boot camp will be invited to join us at the, at the Project Academy. And this Project Academy will last for five lessons across um, a few weeks, twice a week, in fact. The objective of it is really to equip candidates with the basics of venture capital investments and how to navigate entrepreneurship and, uh, and, and the Southeast Asian student venture capital scene. And um, there, will, there, there will be a small assessment at the end uh, and selected candidates will be officially inducted to be part of our analyst program where um, it will be a completely new journey where we'll learn more about uh, due sourcing and investments, speaking to a lot of founders and, and really get hands-on experience into getting into the dream. You'll we'll also learn more about specific sectors with high potential for disruption. Um, so this can come in the form of markets research or industry-specific sector reports. And beyond just this, there's also access to a myriad of networking events as well as sharing sessions from industry veterans, such as AMAs where you get um, seasoned veterans to speak about their unique perspectives into various sectors in the startup space or uh, potentially invitations to events and mega events such as the VC office hours that I've previously mentioned. So for the next slide. Yeah. And this slide represents, you know, a brief timeline of what your journey in Protege Ventures will look like. For the first uh, half of, for the first half of the next upcoming semester, it will be mostly revolving around foundational learning and training at Protege Academy. Uh, some of the key topics that we will be covering during the academy would include VC economics. So setting the ground, having a quick primer on what cap venture capital is about, how it works, how to, who the stakeholders are and why it is relevant to venture capital. And beyond that, we also touch on the economics of a venture capital firm, how we raise money from our investors so that we can invest in promising startups and how we eventually you know, exit uh, companies to make returns. And for the second class, we'll be talking more about due sourcing and screening. How can we uh, have a systematic way of meeting founders, of, of uh, reaching out to 
promising startups and whether there's a way in which we can filter out startups to know which ones we should prioritize for pushing down the investment pipeline. Um, with regards to due diligence and market sizing, we'll also be learning more about how, uh, about information about a startup that would eventually lead to whether uh, we invest in a company or not. So as part of the due diligence process, market sizing is an, is an especially important component of it because it gives us an indication of the, the size and the desirability of this particular opportunity. We'll be touching on the various market sizing tools as part of this class as well. And finally, for our last lesson, we'll be learning uh, about, we'll be having a class on the investment memorandum. And this, in fact, this will be an extension of the due diligence portion for the third, for, from the third class. So we will be introducing key segments of analysis required prior to a, a startup investment. And um, the insights uh, gathered from the previous research, as well as uh, the learnings from the writing of the investment memo would crystallize into a single document for the IC, for the investment committee. And this is especially important because whether the deal goes through or not, largely, uh, a large part of it depends on the quality of the assessment done in, a, in, in an investment memo. So of course, we'll be having some case studies to help you guys understand more about an, an IC meeting as well as an investment memorandum. So back to the timeline, um, after the first phase of learning and training for the, first, um, for the first half of the next upcoming semester, the subsequent one and a half academic semester would really be more on like hands-on student VC experience. So um, of course, there will also be you know, opportunities for progression. Analysts will be promoted to associate at the end of the first year and subsequently to principals and uh, partners subject to performance and, and other factors. Associates and above will also get exposure to additional functions beyond just sourcing and due assessment and, and investments. So these are additional functions required for a VC firm to not just survive, but excel. Some of these would include fundraising, um, getting investments from our limited partners so that we can invest in companies ourselves. And, uh, and, it, and some of these opportunities will also include you know, provide, taking on an advisory hat, providing advice and help towards our portfolio companies. Yep. And I think I've come on to the end of my portion. So at Protege Ventures, we are really looking for candidates with a burning passion for startups, VCs, technology, and innovation, and hungry and ready to learn together with us. If you think you fit the above description, please apply to Protege Ventures and let us explore and shape Southeast Asia's student venture capital scene together.